Welcome to Tunnel Vision. My name is James Carew, and today we're going to be talking about coffer dams. I thought we were talking about new public spaces. We are, but first you need to introduce yourself. Sorry, my name's Emily McKenna, and on today's episode of Tunnel Vision, we're talking about coffer dams. Play the intro. The Tideway project is all about cleaning up the River Thames, London's amazing waterway and star of certain East End-based soap operas. We've got dozens of construction sites. Dozens? Well, two dozen actually. We've got 24 construction sites dotted all over London, most of which are right on the river. Hang on a minute. How can there be space for 24 huge construction sites right along the River Thames? I mean, look at this map. Look how busy it is. How is there possibly space for dozens of construction sites in the heart of London? Well, Emily, that's where cofferdams come in. A what? A cofferdam. A cofferdam is an enclosure built in a body of water to allow the area to be pumped out. So you build walls in the water to close it all in and then pump it out? Exactly. So what about all the fish? we come to that a bit later. But on Tideway, we built loads of these cofferdams as a way of giving us more space to do our work. So like at Victoria? That's it. And at Chelsea, Albert, Blackfriars, Chambers Wharf, and in Wapping. So because there's not enough land in London, Tideway's created more? Exactly. Kind of like Dubai? Not exactly. Oh, okay. So what happens once we're finished? Do we rip it all down, restoring the banks of the Thames to their original shape? No, but we'll get to that later too. First, let's head on site to see how the teams on Tideway build these cofferdams. Hi, my name is Tom Sturman and I'm the Tideway project manager here at the Victoria Embankment Foreshore site. I've been on the project four years and in that time I've seen a lot of progress on the site today. So the cofferdam that I'm stood on at the moment composes sort of three main elements. As you can see, you've got the inner and outer skins, which consist of a number of sheet piles which are clutched together to form the water defence. Then within that skin, we've got a granular fill uh, and that creates a working platform they're actually stood on at the moment. And the combination of these two items seal um, the structure against the river wall and provide a dry environment for us to construct the tideway structure. So the walls themselves, as you can see behind me, are basically a network of Z-shaped sheet piles. These are driven into the riverbed from the barges that we had on site at the time. The way you drive the sheet piles into the, the ground is by using what we call a piling gate. This allows the sheet piles to be slotted in, and then we use a piling hammer to drive them into the riverbed. We use two different methods. The first, we use a vibration method to get the piles as far as we could, and then we use percussive piling to drive them down final depth. So there's two main things we use to make sure it's watertight. First, you've got the piles that are clutched together. So you'd apply a sealant along that clutch and that helps to seal them at the individual joints between the piles. But the key thing for the water tightness is actually the interface with our cofferdam with the existing river wall to finally seal the cofferdam. Wow, that's so interesting. But I'm still wondering, what happens to all the fish when all the water's pumped out? I know that the river is polluted with sewage, but there's still fish. Don't they get stuck in the cofferdam? You're right, Emily, the Thames is full of fish, despite the sewage. And on Tideway, we've rescued thousands of carp, bream, roach, smelt, flounder, bleak, pike, gudgeon, and even sea bass. Wow, that's a lot of species. It is, isn't it? So let's head back on site and find out how they did it. Well, hello there, my name is Jonathan Valdez Montalegre. I'm uh, an agent for the Victoria site. Well, the fish get strapped into the um, into the cofferdam is, is part of the process once you start building it. So the fish try to find their ways. So when we start closing the cells and start to close the cofferdam itself is when they become trapped. Once the, the, the fish are trapped on within the, the cofferdam, the key is to keep the water as low as possible. In this case, we leave between one meter and two meters of water uh, from the riverbed. So that keeps the fish safe and sound. And then the process is we get a, a team of specialists within the cofferdam where they will put some nets around, keeping different sizes of nets, and then that will get the fish uh, trapped within the nets. And then the specialists classify them, measure them. In some instances, they weigh them. If fishes are not too stressed, they, they can do all this. We at Victoria will rescue around 2,800 um, fish different species, but in total 2,800. So 
So here are the facts. Tied by are building a super sewer to clean up the River Thames. That's it. And to do that, we need construction sites, many of them in the heart of London. Yes. And there isn't enough space, especially in central London. So we're creating new land. That's it. By building a metal watertight perimeter out into the river, then we take the water out, we save all the fish, we backfill the cofferdam to make it level. Amazing. So what happens to the cofferdam once we're done? Why don't we head over to Blackbriars and take a look? So this is Blackfriars. All that is a brand new piece of land built out into the river. And when we're finished, it'll be landscaped and open to the public. Wow, that's so cool. So people will be able to sit around there, taking selfies, watching the river go by. That's it. And this is one of seven new public spaces that'll be left behind when Tideways finishes work cleaning the river. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to go and sit around there once we're done. Neither can I. James, do you know what a time capsule is? You mean like in Back to the Future? Not exactly. We're here at Blackfriars today, we're burying a time capsule. All the graduates that started in 2020 have been split up into different groups and each group's got their own task. We've reached the bottom of the Blackfriars shaft. The time capsule is sort of a momentum of all the people that have worked on this project and the year that sort of 2020 has been. Within the time capsule, we've got a presentation folder about current affairs, so COVID, Black Lives Matter movement. We've got water samples to see how this project has actually affected the River Thames and hopefully has improved it massively. Well, at the minute, they're digging a hole at the centre of the bottom of the shaft and it's going to be about 0.65 of a metre deep to fit the time capsule, which is 0.5 of a metre cubed. And then it should go in before it's covered and then sealed with the base slab. Oh wow, here she comes. It's really exciting seeing the time capsule come down after all these months of work we've put in. The capsule's just been placed into the hole. We start to fill in the hole and bury the capsule. The time capsule's in the work package plan. It's in the plans for the project, so if someone picks up the plans for the project, they know it's there. The aim is for in future, if works need to be done to the sewer or if restorative uh, measures need to be taken place, that there's potential that the time capsule can be dug up then. So right now we're covering the time capsule. It's great to be down here in the shaft when it's at its full depth. And to be honest, it was a great chance to get to meet all the other graduates working on uh, such a good project. A lot of people in construction, when they walk through London, they can look at the high-rise building and say, I was a part of this, I had something to do with that. But for me in the future, when I walk along the embankment, I can say that the Blackfriars shaft, we had our own input and the time capsule that's going to be found in the future. So yeah, it's a great feeling. So that's it for this month's Tunnel Vision. We hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you have, like and subscribe. And let us know in the comments what you want to see in future shows. Join us next time on, on Tunnel Vision. Vision. <laughs>